Hello everyone. This video is dedicated to solving uh, problems with perfect competition and monopoly uh, from a mathematical point of view. Um, in class, we discussed how to determine the price, the quantity, the total revenue, the total cost, and profit or loss looking at a graph like we see here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same approach, but we're going to be using numbers. And I just want to draw your attention to a few things. Uh, when we talk about solving for price, quantity, profit, total revenue, total cost for perfect competition, I want you to make I want you to realize that we have a flat demand curve for the firm, um, and that's important because once I give you the price of the good, you immediately know the marginal revenue because they're one and the same. So keep that in mind. So let's go to an exercise with some numbers. So what do we have first? In a perfectly competitive athletic shoe industry, a firm has a short run total cost curve given by TC equals 4Q plus 2Q squared. The price of the shoe is $44. So I've given you two things. Actually, I've given you three things. You have the total cost curve, and all you do is you plug in Q, and you can give you can get a total cost at that rate of output. And I've also given you price, which also means you know marginal revenue. So let's talk about um, the mathematical uh, relationship between total cost and marginal cost, total revenue and marginal revenue. Well, I've given you the total cost curve here first. Um, marginal cost is really the first derivative of the total cost curve. Um, and that's another way of saying marginal cost is the first order change of total cost. Because when you look at the, when you listen to the definition of marginal cost, the change in total cost when you per produce one unit, that's a first order change before and after. And all you need to know from a, a mathematical point of view is to go from this equation, total cost, and to take the first derivative, uh, basically, it's going to turn into this. So you take the first derivative of the total cost equation, and it's going to go from this equation and we're going to take the first derivative, which looks like this, and it's going to turn into this. And how did it turn into that? Well, you drop the Q, you take this 2, bring it over to here, you multiply it by 2, you get 4, so you get 4Q. That's what you have right here. And basically, what you see here is every time you increase Q by 1, you could uh, show the change in total cost by this equation. So we now have the marginal cost curve. So if we set marginal cost equal to marginal revenue, we could determine the output rate. And we know marginal revenue because I've given you the price, because price and marginal revenue are equal in a per perfectly competitive market structure. So we set them equal to each other, and we see that 44 equals 4 plus 4Q, and I just solved for Q. I, I collect like terms, uh, bring the uh, 4 over to the left side of the equation. Now I'm just going to divide by 4 on each side, and Q equals 10. So we have two things we're looking for. We have price, which was given right here, $44. And we have quantity now. Well, now you could figure out total revenue, which is going to be P times Q. And you can now easy, easily figure out total cost because once you have Q, you could plug that back into your total cost equation and out spits total cost. So um, we will we'll, we'll subtract our total revenue from total cost. And here, P times Q is total revenue. So that's 44 times 10. We got $440 for total revenue. And we plug Q10 into the total cost equation and out spits $240. So one subtracted from the other, we've got a profit of $200.
So that's the way you solve a problem uh, mathematically for perfect competition. The next video will be about monopoly.